Welcome to IC3 Internet and Computing Core Certification Process Credentials for a Digital World, brought to you by ShiftKey Solutions, and I am Eric Ripley. Let's take a look now as to what IC3 Certification Process involves. As an overview, students must define themselves in a digital world, in a world where computer technology is an essential part of school, work life, and where virtually every field and function is impacted by computers. One certification can give students a clear advantage. The Internet and Computing Core Certification IC3. This globally recognized certification provides both students and job seekers with the foundational knowledge needed to excel in fields that involve computers and the Internet. The IC3 Global Standards 4 reflects the most relevant skills for school and businesses today. Computing fundamentals, key applications, living online. Let's take a look at a video that shows the importance of IC3 and the training involved. What a beautiful day here at the Raceway, Steve. It's a perfect day for racing. You got that right, Jim. The day we've all been waiting for is finally here, and I'll tell you, you can feel the excitement in the air. Just imagine what it's like down there in the pits right now, the intense feeling that's going around among these drivers. This race today, Jim, will set the tone for their careers. Well, and as you know from your years behind the wheel with this high level of competition, a racer would typically be gearing up for this race months before today. Yes, that's right. Uh, we can expect some impressive performances today from these drivers. Well, Steve, I hope you're ready. It looks like the drivers are. This is it. This is their time to prove what they are really made of. And the flag is out. Gentlemen, start your engines. Uh, now, wait a minute. What's this? Steve, I have no idea, but there seems to be some trouble in the pit. Gentlemen, start your engines. Hello. <laughs> it looks to me like they don't even know how to start their engines. Are they calling out crew chiefs for driving instructions? I don't know what's going on, but these guys look totally confused. This is not good at all. Steve, please tell me he's not reading an instruction manual. <laughs> yes, he is, and there's something very wrong here. Ever worry that you'll face a situation you're not quite ready to handle? Ever wish you were better prepared to win? Don't wait until race day to prepare. In today's digital economy, winning requires that you have a strong foundation of computing and internet skills. Equipped with the right computing knowledge and skills, you're off to the right start and won't be left behind. So how do you ensure you have the basic skills to succeed? And how do you prove it to others? The answer is simple. Get IC3 certified. IC3, the Internet and Computing Core Certification, is the global, validated standard for determining an individual's digital literacy. With an IC3 certification, you'll prove you are properly equipped with computer and internet skills, making you stand out from the competition. An IC3 certification is the right formula to validate your computing knowledge and skills, stand out as highly qualified, and maximize your opportunities. Get in the race to win. Your future starts with IC3. Get IC3 certified. Let's make our students ready for the proverbial race day. Benefits to the teachers. Based on best practices and technology education, the IC3 certification program equips teachers with a proven state-of-the-art program that offers a number of advantages data-driven decision-making through reporting to show successful completion of funding requirements, unbiased examination through psychometrically validated certification exams, universal portability and relevance as a recognized global standard in digital literacy, ready solutions that is cost-effective and is conducive to teaching to meet national and local educational requirements, 
a professional development tool that boosts instructor confidence and to integrate the latest technology in the classroom. Freeing teachers from answering computer questions during lessons. If the student knows how to operate the computer, they can focus on the lesson at hand. Benefits to the students. By validating your students' skills in the critical areas of computer technology and the internet, IC3 certification provides students an educational and occupational advantage. Strong digital literacy foundation of skills on which to pursue higher education. Portable credentials that is valued everywhere and accessible through fraud-proof online digital transcripts. Prepare students for foundational knowledge of digital literacy with an industry-recognized credential for future job placement. Accelerate success with shorter, less difficult learning curves in areas involving computers and internet. Enable students to focus and retain classroom exercises and lessons while not being distracted with common computer troubleshooting. IC3 is a precursor to the following exams. Basic digital literacy is the first step towards successfully achieving future software certifications. Digital literacy is the common element required for college and career readiness. Regardless of career or academic goal, digital literacy skills are measured and required by most organizations. Foundational digital literacy is IC3. Secondary digital literacy would be MOS as an example. Advanced digital literacy might be Microsoft Technology Associate certification, which is called the MTA certifications. What's involved in the IC3 exam? Well, there's three exams that are involved. There's the Computing Fundamentals, Key Applications, and Living Online. Let's take a look at the IC3 exam objectives. The IC3 exam objectives would fall in three categories, the Computing Fundamentals, Key Applications, and Living Online. For Computing Fundamentals, we have a list of 13 areas that are involving using the computer, such as what's an OS, managing computer files and folders, PC configuration, OS drivers, common computer technology, types of computers and mobile devices, computer performance, installing, uninstalling software, what a li software license is, software applications and tools and what types they are, troubleshooting basic software problems, troubleshooting basic hardware problems, devices and peripheral devices, backup and restore points. For key applications, we have 18 areas that are generally covered, which would include common application features, basic text formatting, navigating files and folders, working with multimedia files, word processing activities and methods, that's Microsoft Word, tables and lists, that would be a combination of Excel and maybe Microsoft Word, page layout, that's most office applications, spreadsheet components, that would be Excel, worksheet layout, that would be Excel, working with data, again that would be Excel and possibly Access, presentation building, that would be PowerPoint, inserting content, that would be PowerPoint, slide management, slide design, basic database interactions, that would be Access, record management, that would be Access, collaboration, that would be working with others, sharing files. Then we have living online. This is 16 areas that are involving the internet. Internet, browsing, and the World Wide Web. Navigating on the internet using the browser. Internet connections. Network types and features, compatibilities. Network connection troubleshooting, that's always important. Email communications. Real-time communications. Digital citizenship. Netiquette. Netiquette is a word that's used to define etiquette while on the internet. Communication standards, legal and responsible use of computers, secure online communications or activities, ergonomics, that's always important, research fluency, using search engines, evaluate search results, using advanced features of search engines. 
Let's take a look at what a computing fundamental exam question might look like. In this question reads, which two options explain the image below? Choose two. There's an image of a network and then the list of questions A through D. A student would choose two of those that are appropriate for this answer. These examples are straight out of the IC3 CertiPrep practice exams. Let's take a look at what the key applications exam question might look like. In this question it asks, click the option that selects every cell in an Excel worksheet and they're outlined in green here. These are the options for a student to choose from. Let's take a look at what the living online exam question might look like. In this question it says, save the current web page as a text document under the name Certiport in the current directory folder. So the student would go through those steps in achieving saving this website as a text file. Who benefits from certification? Well, this is a general outline of who benefits and how they might benefit. For individuals, increasing the percentage of graduates and prepare students to enter the workforce complete with digital literacy readiness. For academic, reduces student dropout rate, increases digital literacy, improves graduation success stories with learning outcomes for tomorrow's jobs. For the business, digitally literate, certified employees tend to make more competent, more productive, effective, well-organized, and independent. For the government, enhances national economic competition, providing social support to upskill the unemployed. What's new for GS4? GS4 stands for Global Standards Version 4, and GS4 is the most recent, most relevant version of IC3. Cloud Computing, Remote Systems and Databases. Database, which includes basic functions, queries, working with multimedia files, digital citizen, which includes proper use of email, social networks, texting, and copyrights, to include what intellectual copyrights might include. Safe computing, identity and data protection. Critical thinking, evaluating internet sources and articles for validity. Here are some quotes that reflect the value of certification from the U.S. Department of Education, April 2012. American employers need a workforce that is skilled, adaptable, creative, and equipped for success in the global market. President Obama was quoted saying, to win the future we must out-educate our global competitors by giving every child a world-class education and opening the doors of college and opportunity to all students. In addition, the U.S. Department of Education was also quoted in saying, effective high-quality CTE programs are aligned with college and career readiness standards as well as the needs of employers, industry, and labor. Schools must go beyond the three R's to prepare students for a competitive workforce and college atmosphere. Technical certification ensures that students are truly college and career ready. Shift Key Solutions. Who is Shift Key Solutions? Well, Shift Key Solutions is a CertiPort authorized testing center, a Microsoft Office Specialist Authorized Testing Center is considered a Microsoft Certified Professional is a IC3 Authorized Instructor is also a Microsoft Certified Trainer and also a Microsoft Certified Learning Consultant. Partnered with CertiPort, ShiftKey Solutions delivers certification exams and training to students, teachers, and staff in the education industry.